Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of The Guru Room. And for The Guru Room today, we got a very great guest. He's a musician and TikToker, and his name is Scott Scotty Berg. And I'm looking forward to talking to him, asking him about his, his music career and about what got him into wanting to get involved in the world of TikTok. And I am Rocco Cross. I am the host of Stutters. I am the host of Guru Room. And my interview with Scotty is coming up next. Okay, um, welcome, welcome to Guru. And thank thank you so much for, for taking time out of your day or night now and co- and coming on the show. Yeah, thanks for having me. This is it's good. Definitely, bud. Uh so like the first thing I wanted to ask you is like what drew you to want to do songs um it's kind of just something that it's kind of not really any like it's kind of just myself I kind of just do childhood and stuff just kept writing songs and just expressing my feelings through that way and it's kind of just how I express my feelings in some or other ways and some people express their feelings through art and maybe soccer or basketball or like stuff like that and it's just stuff that I express my feelings with just writing songs and singing them oh man that's awesome nice and like what music artist do you do you do you like listening like what music artist made you want to get involved with like singing and stuff uh well, this band um, got started by Logan Paul, the band Why Don't We? And like a song, Help Me Help You. I love them. They're, nice. they're, and it's really good. Um, Bieber, Justin Bieber. Good. Sean Mendez, Ed Sheeran, um, Bruno Mars. Just all, a lot of the pop. And I'm getting more into country now. So it's more um, Morgan Wallen, Nico Moon. Um, it's kind of... It's kind of those those two right now, Dan and Shay. Okay, okay, yeah. nice. And what when did you start learning how to how to play the guitar? Like, what age and stuff? I started learning it a year ago. Oh, um, really? I, I was gonna learn it when I was ten, but okay. my voice teacher back then was like, "You have to learn piano first. It's easier to learn the chords." And then I did piano for like two years and then I quit playing piano. I still play it just like in my Instagram posts and stuff. But then I switched over and played and started playing guitar. Oh, wow. And which one do you like better? Like which one, which one do you like playing more? Guitar. (laughs) Nice. Nice. Okay. (laughs) And the, the first song you wrote is, is called it. It ain't over, right? Yeah. Uh, what inspired you to to write to write the song? Uh, so you know, through like I wrote it in COVID, so it's kind of like everyone's mental health is spiraling. Everyone was in kind of like depression, and it's kind of just saying like it ain't over. Like stuff's like everything's gonna be done. It's kind of over now, but just in that time period, it's kind of. Like it ain't over. Like it's okay. Like just kind of a song of hope. Okay. Okay. Nice. And um, is there like any any songs that really get get your blood going, getting you pumped pumped up and ready to like you know go crazy? <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, this do a Levitating featuring the baby. I listen to that a lot. Yeah, it's a great song. Okay. Yeah. And what about a song to just like hang out to, chill out to, like just to relax and stuff? Song that I relax. Um, probably um, it's a song for you by Why Don't We, and I like it. It's a good song. Okay. Nice. Yeah. And um, you you also have a song called called Friends, right? Yeah. And what do you love most about making making that song? Um, so funny enough, I was in Nashville writing that song and three other songs, 
And um, it was just kind of the experience, like going with people that had top, like number one billboards and then working with me, it was like, whoa. And um, yeah, it's just, it was such a cool experience. I couldn't have had anything better than that. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. And um, I see like on your page and stuff, you you like to, co to cover a lot of different songs, different artists. Yeah. Um, so like what what songs have you loved doing the most? Like which which ones do you have the most fun with? Yeah, honestly, all of them. It's just like, <laughs> and just doing what I love. It's just awesome. And getting the attraction from followers and stuff. It's just just nice people seeing what I love and them like sharing it. All right. Is there yeah. Is there any songs you you want to cover that you haven't had a chance to yet? Uh, not really, no. It's got <laughs> an app called Tabs, and it's like a guitar and piano, so I just learned the chords on that. Yeah. Okay, sweet, nice. And um, I see you. You um, you know, you're you got like a a really good voice a really good singing voice and did you did you go to any kind of voice voice coaching or was it just something that that came to you oh uh, yeah so i i do i have voice teachers oh okay. um, i yeah yeah i do nice nice and you also love to cook and bake i, I was reading um is there any any special dish that you you like making <laughs> maybe it's not really like a specific dish because i like cook a lot okay. like i made granola bars for my family like a week ago but um maybe making a peach cobbler is probably my favorite oh man i love that nice yeah. nice and which sports do you do you love to play uh, I like to play volleyball. I'm on the volleyball team for my school. I basketball, I mountain bike, I like mountain biking, golf, got into that this year. Oh, wow, and nice. Just anything, like, kind of just, if, if like, you want to play, I'll play. It's kind of like, <laughs> I don't, yeah. soccer, I used to play soccer. Okay. Yeah, kind of anything. <laughs> And what about watching on television? Like, what kind what kind of sports do you do you like to watch on television? Mostly, um, I watch that sport. It's um, basketball. I like basketball. I like watching the Seahawks play. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Um, the Raptors. Yeah, it's kind of mostly those. Nice man, and um, like. How do you get into a mind frame to write write different different lyrics for different songs? Kind of, I kind of just take in what mood I'm in in the day, and I just kind of reflect on what I did, and I just write and see what goes on top of my mind. Sometimes I'm stumped, I hit a brick wall, and sometimes I write a whole song. It's kind of just how the day is. Oh, oh, nice, nice, <laughs> and um. Is there any any other songs like how many songs do you do you have have out now like um friends and the other one I talked about it it ain't over are there are there other songs too or is it just those those two that are out I have actually four songs and four? when I was okay. when I was ten there was a song with a rapper in the Starboy Thomas and it's called You're Not Alone like anti bullying. And I think a year after that, when I was 11, I had a song come out called I Wouldn't Know What To Do. And then oh. Friends came out in Nashville. And then, yeah, and then Friends came out. And it ain't over. I forgot to say that one. <laughs> yeah. On October 8th, I have another song coming out. That oh, was recorded. Nice. Uh, it's called No Time To Waste. And any, if anyone is hearing this, it's coming out October 8th, called No Time To Waste by Scotty Berg. And it's on Apple Music, Spotify, all that. Wow, awesome. Now, 
are you working on making like a, a full a full length al album or an album? Um, yeah, I'm really thinking of that right now. I'm kind of just thinking about my gigs in the next month, but I am writing down just some lyrics in my head, and maybe I'll go to the studio someday. Nice. Just, yeah. And what kind of of shows do you have coming up? You got like a lot of live live gigs and stuff. I yeah, I do. Um, so September thirtieth. I'm performing at a winery. Uh, it's called Fiend Winery. And uh, this is a big one. Um, October, it's like October 25th. I got asked to go to LA. It's like oh. a for like disabled people and people that like need help. So they raise money and they donate it to like charities. So I'm honored to do that. But uh, still and we're still seeing if it's a go because of COVID and stuff but uh, I can do it wow that's awesome yeah so, so like when when you're on stage when when you're live doing doing music is it a mix of your own music plus the co cover songs too uh yeah so recently I did a past gig and it was like an art walk thing where people just walk around and look at art and I sang my two originals, like I sang It Ain't Over and Friends. And yeah, I, and then after that, I just sing all covers. Cause, oh, sweet. Yeah. Nice, nice. And like out of all the, the cover songs, which, are, which one do you like doing live the most? Is there like any, any special one that you love doing, doing live the most that gets the crowd like really going? I, um, well, the new Ed Sheeran song, it's called Shivers, and it's, it's really fun to play. Probably that one. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. What do you, what do you like most about being in front of people, of a live crowd? You know, just when I'm happy and they're happy, it's just kind of a good vibe and just kind of just the enjoyment of it, just. If when I'm singing and seeing them just happy, like having like a drink or something and just listening to me sing and it's just it's just a good feeling. And what about you? Like what was what was the first the first live show you ever saw? Like like the first artist or band? Concert. Oh, One Direction. It was One Direction. Oh, nice. Nice. And how was the show like for for like your your first time going in my in my opinion i didn't like it that much because the only song i knew was like their first song like what makes you beautiful and <laughs> they like 50 songs i didn't know so it was like what <laughs> was there was there any show you saw right after that that you actually knew the songs and the band? <laughs> I, yeah, I think the second show I went and watched was, I think it was Justin Bieber, and I knew every song on that one. Yeah, it yeah. was a perfect. Yeah, Justin's good. I, I, I like the Biebs. Like, he's, he's, I mean, all, all his songs are good. Yeah, I know. They're just like, you can all dance to them and stuff. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and now he's, he's back again and he's making all these new songs and he 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 just did like a live set on that what was it the m the m mtv video awards right yeah 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 he's he's always doing something yeah he was in a big hole for a, a couple of years when he disappeared for like four years so <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> What do you like doing during your free time when, you know, when you're not involved with doing anything with music or, or songwriting? Uh, well, as you said, I meant to, I'm a big baker. So I just kind of just pull up a recipe and do that. I hang out with my friends, maybe just play cards with my family. Um, watch a lot of Netflix. I'm into the show Brooklyn. It's really good. Um, 
maybe go to the park and play some like baseball or something and soccer just kind of nothing too crazy but just it's nice yeah definitely definitely is is there any is there any like band or or person that you would love to be on the same show with matter for honestly probably probably ed sheeran since he's like so like mature in the industry and he's like knows his like in and outs of everything i would probably do that yeah nice yeah. Yeah. and i also run like this horror site so i always ask you know my guest this do you do you like horror films and if you do what are some you you like to watch don't <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> and what 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 shows are you currently binge watching what on netflix well yeah netflix who hulu disney whatever, whatever oh, yeah. shows um, you're watching the show brooklyn 99 it's like a detective show with like andy sandberg and stuff nice yeah and he, any other shows you're watching too besides that or is it just that one it's it's just that one <laughs> just like the like one movie here and there but that one right now okay okay yeah and what about songs like who's who's currently on your play playlist my playlist mostly the band why don't we a lot of bieber a lot of ed sheeran uh nico moon a lot of morgan wallen and that's kind of it Okay. Okay. Yeah. And I, I see you also love, love, love doing tick, tick, tick tock too. Um, so is there any video on tick, tick tock that you had, you had the most, the most fun with? Whew, I got to look back to all the tick tocks I've done. Um, <clears throat> there was this one where I was like, um, well, I saw this on TikTok and I sang Talking to the Moon by Ed Sharon. And that got like 30,000 views, but instead of the views and likes, it was like it was really fun to make. Nice. Yeah. And do you follow any of the like trends on there? Is there any any trend you would you would love to try? Uh well, I try to stay with the trends. Like I look up a lot of singing trends, but I try not to trail off and do like all the other things because I'm like more like singing based. Okay. So see, like at least, at least when when you're doing songs, you're singing them. You're not you're not lip lip singing them. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> and is there is there anything coming out next you would you would like to talk about or plug or? Ah, uh, well, my song's coming out October eighth. It's called No Time to Waste. Apple Music, Spotify, mark it in your calendars. Ain't no time to waste. October right. Awesome. And where can fans find find you at? Well, I'm on Instagram. It's Scotty underscore Berg. I'm on TikTok. It's Scotty underscore Berg two. I'm on Facebook. It is Scott Berg. I'm on. I think that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay. Yeah that's pretty cool scott scott bird i like that do you do you watch watch wrestling at all live wrestling no i don't oh uh, no there's there's a wrestler when when you were saying scott scott bird i was thinking of this wrestler from wwe old 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 bird <laughs> um did, did you want to do a song or yeah, I'll do a song. Okay, sweet. I just have to grab my guitar. So sorry. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so this is Be Myself by Why Don't We. Okay. Where do I start? Now I decide I'm staying in the night. You said, Folly, 
apart. But it's beating uncontrollably. I can't hear what he's telling me this time. We're dancing on the edge of anxiety's ledge, and I might fall again. We're walking on a rover, worry and I hope that I don't fall again. I don't fall. Oh, take me somewhere I can be. I can't be myself. Whoa. I've never had pride for myself, and I'm proud of that, because I know that I'm just somebody else. So why do I try? Try to find my validation in what everybody's saying to me somewhere else. We're dancing on the edge of anxiety's ledge, and I might fall again. I might fall. Oh, take me somewhere I can be. I can't be myself. Whoa. Anxiety's legend, I might fall again. I might fall. Wow. Thank you. Very, very good. Wow. That 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 was that was awesome. That was Thank awesome. You. Yeah, you you definitely have a really, a really great great voice and i mean yeah yeah that was that that was awesome i liked it thank you well i want to thank thank you for taking time out of your out of your day to come here and and do the interview and do and do a really really great song live and thanks buddy yeah no problem yeah thanks for having me this was a lot of fun this is great yeah <laughs> yeah it was fun it was fun yeah. having, having you on if you ever want to come back and you know if you ever have any any songs you're about to put out you want to talk about definitely definitely come on okay sounds good yeah all right Sweet. bud okay have a good night yeah you too have a good one thank you yeah bye, bye. <laughs>